What's up? It's me, Keyline Davis, and I'm back with another video. And today I will be talking about the struggle of pornography for this second episode of the series that the Lord has put on my heart to do. And what I want to say is this, that this struggle of pornography is a constant falling and getting back up thing. I just want to start this out today by encouraging you that no matter how many times you fall, that God still loves you and God is still there for you and he can still deliver and set you free. You may be constantly falling in, you may be constantly doing good for a while, having a streak for a while, but then you go back. But I just want to tell you this, that this thing that you are struggling with, in Jesus Christ's name, you can be free and you shall be free. And you must know that. But from now, I just want to say this, that as we are in this society, it's many things that we got to pay attention to. It's even signs that we got to pay attention to with this struggle. And I'm going to give you one. And this is the feeling that you have after you fall into pornography. Maybe it's somebody that done fell so many times and they had a mindset that, man, is this even bad anymore? Because I done been there. That didn't hit me before. I was falling so many times. I was like, God, is this even really bad? But I just want to tell you, this is your sign. The feeling that you have after you fall. If you have done something and all of a sudden you feel guilt, you feel shame, you feel condemnation, you feel down about yourself, and you feel like you have just done wrong, then that's a sign right there that what you are doing is not good for you. The feeling that you have after watching pornography and masturbating to it is every sign that you don't want to go back and you should not go back. And you really got to open your eyes to that and pay attention to the fact of it. You may be feeling it, but you keep going back. But just take that as a sign that you do not want to go back. Then another thing about this struggle of pornography is this. The society that we live in, it is literally pornographic stuff everywhere. Like porn is everywhere. It's on the TV. It's when you walk outside. It's, it's everywhere. Like on the social media, it's like you cannot get away from pornographic things. This society that we live in is so perverse now that they put this stuff all around you. Even those who don't want to get introduced into it or those who are not interested in it, they still somehow see something or take a glance at something that is pornographic. It's the society. The porn is literally everywhere. It's all around us. We can't step outside, turn on the screen without seeing something of it. Even commercials is everywhere. And that's the devil's tactic. But make sure that when you see these things that you flee from it. Make sure you flee from the lust. You flee from the sexual immorality. You flee from the sexual perversion. Because I know how this is. I know it's a thing that you fall and you get back up. I know that exact feeling. But you got to keep going. Then number three. The problem with pornography. Back in the days, people had to go to shows to view pornography. They literally had to pay go to shows to view pornography. And you would get caught easily doing that so a lot didn't do it. And also, it used to just be magazines or tapes. You had to go to places and buy it. But now, in this society, it's one click away. You go to your search bar, you type a, a couple things in there, all of a sudden, boom, the pornography is right there in your face from, from high-speed internet. We begin to watch these things one click away. That's why it's so much trouble for many people as well, because the very thing that they may use for business, may even be using to help people with God, may just be using to talk to friends, messaging people, the thing that was just supposed to be used for regular good things and positive things and productive things turn out to be the same device and the same screen that they are looking at for this filthiness that they hate, that they are constantly going back to. That's the problem. The pornography is one click away. As soon as you click on something, boom, all the tabs, all the videos, all the pictures that you want to see, and the things that we should not see, but it's one click away. That's another reason that so many struggle with this pornography. But like I said, God is with you and he loves you. Jesus Christ can set you free. You got to know that. More steps that you take towards moving away from it, the further you're going to get away. You are not stuck and believe that today in Jesus' name. I know the struggle of pornography, and I know how you feel, but trust in the Lord. I pray you like, subscribe, and comment. Be blessed.